Okay, everybody, it is me, Gregory Manorino. It is Monday, July 4th, 2022. Happy Insurrection Day. You know, there was a time, really not so long ago, when people wouldn't tolerate at all what is happening right now. But unfortunately, between the propaganda ministry and everything else that's going on here, people have been lulled into some kind of state of... I, I wish I could define this. How about you? What is this? Uh, I have said many times that the current state of affairs between people who have been dumbed down beyond the point of recognition, are they even human beings anymore? Or are they just some kind of animal? I have no idea. But what, what is this? It's yet to be defined. And I leave it up to you to, you know, decipher the current situation, the current set of affairs that's going on here, uh, it's out of control. It's really out of control, um, but it's about control. It's about forcing more control on people, um, and I don't believe they've seen anything yet, and that's really the truth. So again, happy Insurrection Day. All right, people, look. I want to talk about a few things in this newest segment of Markets A Look Ahead we're witnessing a phenomenon, literally witnessing a freaking phenomenon between the action of central banks. What we've seen here in the United States recently with the 10-year yield plummeting like this, and you turn on the propaganda ministry, all right, CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, they don't know what's going on. They don't understand it. They just, it, they, they can't figure it out. They can't figure it out. Well, I'm going to show you something that's hidden in plain sight. I always tell you the truth is hidden in plain sight. This is a segment of the Federal Reserve's balance sheet. Yes, it's on the public balance sheet. You can see it yourself. You can go there right now. This is the Fed's balance sheet between these two dates. That's what's happened to the Fed's balance sheet between these two dates. Meanwhile, uh, you know, this is not supposed to be going on here, all right? And if you think for just a nanosecond that this is all that's going on, then really you don't understand anything at all. Uh, this $30 billion increase between these two dates here, first of all, there's no end in sight, okay? Um, and this is what's available to be seen, again, on their public balance sheet. The Fed has two balance sheets. What's off balance sheet is multiples of that number multiples of that number. In order to push down the 10-year yield the way that we're seeing it right now, um, it would take multiples of that number. Multiples. Many, many multiples of that number. And this is not the regular guy or the regular girl just running out and saying, I got to buy debt here. Um, but no one wants to talk about it. You know, none of the propaganda ministries want to get it out here. They don't want to enlighten you as to what is really happening. This is a mechanism, people, and you know this. I've been talking about this for a long time since it started. You know, let's back up just a moment real quick. You and I actually witnessed a rapid, uncontrolled sell-off in the debt market leading to a, a series of spikes in the 10-year yield, bringing it all the way up to 3.5%. We are now at 2.89%. Just a couple of weeks later, like literally two weeks. Now, I don't even know if it's been two weeks, but it's a very short period of time. It's an incredible phenomenon, and this is central banks buying it all, okay? When we when we got that spike in the 10-year yield, what happened? Immediately, the, the European Central Bank jumps in here with their you know emergency policy to stabilize the debt market. The Federal Reserve jumps right in the next day. Okay, with their unconventional policy to stabilize the debt market. And all this is they're trying to do is foster a new wave of cash making its way into the stock market. Okay, it's basically what, what central banks are doing, none more so than the Fed. Pointing at my hat back here. Okay, a lot of you think I'm pointing over my shoulder. Well, my hat is over here. So um, it's a signal to the market okay, we got your back. Don't worry about it. We're going to keep rates suppressed from here until kingdom come, whenever that is. Um, and, and that's the way it's going to go here. Meanwhile, 
we have we have a situation here where we have again housing prices in a massive bubble with and we are seeing little cracks in 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 the real estate market there's no doubt about it x chuck about it all right and again he's kind of the real estate guy no doubt about it um but home prices uh, at least where i live continue to skyrocket and um we are turning into a slave nation of renters you got companies like blackrock out here buying 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 it all all right um it's a crazy situation here home home of the free you know whatever uh what are you free to do uh become a slave to debt and that's what they're doing they're fostering the emergence of this new two-tier society that you and I have known about for I don't know how long I've been a decade I've been explaining that we're having extreme haves extreme have nots a total wipeout of a class of people um and and an extermination and an elimination of them and this is actually happening do your own research I can't talk about this okay on this blog I can't do it but there is another phenomenon occurring vast increases in the death rate across the spectrum okay and if you think a little bit what what has occurred as of late that might be responsible for some of this okay again do your own research do your own homework i think it's it's pretty important here so anyway what we are experiencing again is this phenomenon of the 10 year yield central banks continuing to inflate and it's not going to stop it's not going to stop. I don't know another way to put it. They're coming out here. You got, you know, this freak from the Federal Reserve and this other freak from the Federal Reserve saying how concerned they are about inflation. And, and just recently we heard from the ghoul. The ghoul herself. Every time I think about it, I must do these faces. I don't know why. Uh, Loretta Mester, how concerned she is about inflation. It's out of control. Oh, the Fed's got to get in here and raise the federal funds rate again, another 75 basis points. But what they're not telling you, people, they're not going to allow you to know is the mechanism that they're involved in right now is seriously remains a debt suppression cycle. So what do we know is going on? What do we know is going on? Well, we know that they they are nudging the federal funds rate higher. It is nowhere near the benchmark rate of inflation by their numbers. So, by keeping the federal funds rate massively suppressed, obviously they're buying the debt market suppressing uh bond yields right now. It's it's hyper hyper inflationary. It's hyper inflationary. So when they say one thing, these freaks at the Federal Reserve count on the polar opposite happening. Okay, um, that's just the way they operate, and it's some kind of a brainwashing, mind twisting mechanism that is the that is again propagated by the mainstream media. Look, um, America, being that this is July Fourth here, um, is a nation now controlled by the media. I want you to understand what I'm talking about. Period. The end. The media exists. To program people, that's that's why they're called programs. I think you already know that, um, and they're not going to stop. They're going to continue to read their scripts as they go along. You know, they don't think for themselves. They're all just mindless puppets being utilized. And I'm talking about the whole damn thing, from you know, imbecile presidents down the, the gamut, all the way through to the mainstream channels who are out there trying to convince you. That again, what you're seeing is not real, and it goes beyond that now. You know what I'm talking about. I've covered this recently. What they're doing now is they're telling you one thing, and then a day or two later, they're pushing the opposite narrative. So that what they're doing is saying, "Okay, this is what's going on, but don't believe it because that's not really happening either." This is a psyop on an, an incredible scale, an incredible scale. So going back to the market. The signal now being sent to the market via central banks via uh, yield suppression, rate suppression here, is okay. It's okay to get back in. Now there's a lot of people who believe still this market is going to hit some pretty uh, pretty staggering heights relatively soon. But we have to see how this plays out. 
Um, it, it does appear that cash is making its way back into the stock market. We're seeing some capital inflows here, no doubt about it. Um, you got energy being bid higher. WTI sitting at about the West Texas Intermediate. I know I always say that and people don't understand it. WTI um, being bid up. We got it's $110 a barrel. Crude oil is the lifeblood of the market. With energy, you see the entire energy sector being propped up. This also affects the financials. You know all this. I've covered this to the point of freaking nausea and people. I think you're already aware of it. But that's the current situation with regard to this entire thing. Um, the phenomenon, another phenomenon, is the dollar, the comparative or relative strength of the dollar. You knew this from, I don't, from a, a long time ago. I always, I've been telling you that although the comparative or relative strength of the dollar is high and will remain that way, in my view, that number, the, the comparative strength of the dollar, is going to continue to climb. Meanwhile, its absolute value is going to plummet and inflation is going to continue to skyrocket. If you think you've seen anything with regard to energy prices and, and food inflation, well, you, you again, don't know what's going on. Um, you're about to get hit a lot harder with this, especially what's, what central banks are doing. The ECB is now expanding their emergency monetary policy um, to bond buying in across Europe, all right? And, it's, you know, they've already been doing this, but they're adding to it now. I think you are all aware of that. Um, and, you know, a lot of this stuff, too, I want you to understand what's happening. It's being hidden in plain sight, but it's under the radar. You got to look for it. You got to search around because they're not, this kind of information is not going to be propagated via the propaganda ministry. No, it's about distractions. It's about deceptions. It's about keeping people divided uh, and, and whatever other crisis that they want to throw in our way. As you already know here, uh, the, the, the Biden-Stein, Frankenstein, Franken-Mummy administration is throwing epic sums of cash with, with, and it's not going to stop. Our, our imbecile president has already said um, he will continue to support the Ukraine and you, you have given them a blank check to expand this war in any other war, okay, because it's a crisis and every crisis must be supported. Otherwise, you don't matter. <laughs> I mean, they, they made this pretty plain to see for everyone. You don't care about people. You are not a patriot. This is what they have done. They've twisted the system upside down, backwards and sideways. People, it's actually completely out of control. So I want to give you another look at this real quick before I let you go. Just so you can be aware of what is hidden in plain sight. This is the Fed's balance sheet, a segment between these two dates here. You can look this, look at this for yourself on the Federal Reserve's own website. There is no end in sight. Meanwhile, again, out of one side of their mouth, oh yeah, we're reducing the balance sheet. But this is what's actually going on. And keep in mind, this is the balance sheet you're allowed to see. What's, what the Fed has off balance sheet is multiples larger than their public balance sheet. And that's just the way they operate here. I think we're all aware of that as well. All right, people. So that's the situation with the situation. And I think this is really, really important. I would hope that you will share this video. Another thing, comments. A lot of you have been writing to me. Hey, Greg, I'm writing a comment. I'm not seeing it show up for like sometimes even 24 hours. Yes, that is happening some other phenomenon is occurring here with YouTube. Um, people will place a comment. It don't show up for hours, sometimes even days. Why that is happening, I don't know. It's some kind of algorithm YouTube thing. So um, that's really out of my power. There's nothing I can do. But I'm going to urge you to comment. I know a lot, a lot more people have been commenting here. And I think that's really important for people to get involved. I hope you're utilizing the chat room on my website as well, traderschoice.net. It's free. I pay for that for all of you. So utilize that resource. Go check it out if you never have before. There's some open spaces. Uh, I opened up some more a couple of weeks ago. I don't believe they've filled up. So it's 100% it's free. Um, I don't charge anything for it. I want you to utilize that. And I want to give all of you a big, huge thank you. To those of you that support my work, honestly, it's so few of you. And you are my base, honestly. If you can't support my work, that's okay too. But pay it forward some other way. 
uh, donate time. Um, I don't know. Do do something. We we got to make a difference in this world. That's it. You you can't live inside your own little box, and 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 pray for a better world. But don't take any action yourself. There's nothing wrong with praying. I pray every day. All right. Full disclosure. Every freaking day I pray. All right. And uh, yes, it's a huge thing, and it absolutely does work. But you. You gotta, you gotta get out there and try to make the difference yourself too. You know, you can ask the Almighty to do this, that, and the other thing, and pray for a better life for yourself, your family, your children. But if you're not going out there and trying to do something to make a positive difference in the world, then why should the Almighty listen to you? I mean, you gotta get out here. You gotta realize that we are not each other's enemies, despite what they're trying to do to us. Um, make a difference today. In, in someone else's life, maybe that you don't even know. You know, say hello to somebody that you that's in your neighborhood that, you know, people just pass by each other like ships in the night and without even saying, hey, how are you? Nice to see you today. You know, these kind of little things mean a lot. You don't know what kind of an impression you might make on, on someone by just saying a simple hello. A simple act of kindness can go, can, can change the world. I really believe that. One simple act of kindness can change the entire world. I'm actually getting chills thinking about this stuff, people. Because, you know, when I sit back here and I tell you to love each other, to care about each other and be charitable, it, it's the most important. Forget about the market and all this other shit. If we can't adopt those three things, you know, loving each other, caring about each other, being charitable, then, then what do we got? What are we? Well, then we are animals. There's no difference between us and some, some other thing, some bug. You understand? I hope you do. This guy here loves you a lot. I mean that from the heart. Please share the video. Get it out there. Make a positive difference today in the world. And I'm telling you, we can change it. But it's got to start with you and I. All right? I'll see you um, in the morning.